do star resources uh, in the MOE library in order to advance students' own self-directed learning. Uh, so what it means is this. So let's say I go to MOE library uh, via the resource MOE library. Then it will come here. So let's say always uh, me searching, uh, typing some words and then I search. So let's say there's this particular lesson that I like. Uh, I can start it here. Okay. Or I can uh, start it here after the attempt. So normally I, I would like to enter the quiz and then start it. So let's say I start it. That means I, I actually want to enter this particular MOE lesson and I want to do all the assignment inside. Lah. And I, I want to have a very quick way to assess the, the lesson, you know, in a, in a quick way. So let's say I can't, I, I can't uh, keep on searching on the MOE library. So one way is after I've started, then I can actually come out of the lesson. I can now do a one click, a two click, and then it is already here. So this is like a something like a bookmark uh, for, for students. So you can quickly, uh, so you can, you can quickly come to the same MOE lesson. Uh. So this is not a copy of the MOE library. This is not in my drive. So all the assignment attempts will be, will be kept in the MOE library uh, copy. Uh. So just now you saw I have done two quizzes. I can actually do the last one and then uh, that should complete the MOA assignment. So this is one way you can do uh, the, the start resources. Lah. So starting your, your own drive isn't really that useful because I find that you it's, it's already in your drive. So I don't think it's that difficult to... For, for student, there, there isn't really any real purpose to star things that are in your drive. Lah, though it is technically possible. Assignments are not possible to be start. La. So just take note that if you want to review as a student, you want to review the assignments, just come to the complete and look at it uh, again.